All right, I'm in a place where I go to sometimes, but this has never been mowed before. I'm gonna try my new backup machine, the GC1023. It's uh, proved itself on coins in the playground the other day. And I'm gonna just check this open place where they mowed down because I don't think it's been cut for years, so probably nobody's been able to metal detect me here before. Anyway, I'm going to do that right now. There's an anthill around that tree right there. Surprisingly enough, the tree is still alive. But yeah, anyway. Right here, I've had lots and lots of garbage today with my new detector. No coins yet. Uh, two bullets, one bullet casing. And right here I'm having my first live dig. The field that I tried out this morning that was cut had lots and lots of uh, foil, so it was not the thing I had hoped for. So anyway, let's see what this one does. It's not very deep, so. The likelihood of trash is pretty huge here. Well, well there's an old tin can, huh? So pretty much everything I've dug today is trash, except for two bullets, one shotgun, not sorry, one, uh, two bullets in one casing. So right here, this is a iron signal though, so it's probably a nail. I'm going to dig it anyway. is either shrapnel or it's the very front edge of a old 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 hatchet and I'm leaning towards hatchet but it's, it seems to be heavier than shrapnel usually is so I'm going for probably a tip of a hatchet. So it just happens to taper at the right angle. So old hatchet. That's something different than garbage. the target right here. I haven't had too many targets with this detector, it's just that it's uh, it discriminates out the, the shrapnel, which has been actually a blessing to me because I've dug up so many pieces of shrapnel here, I'm tired of it. Um, really nice foggy day still, really pretty. And uh, I've been wandering back and forth through here and turning around and coming back and then going around. I found a few little doodads, I think parts of chainsaws or 
maybe even motorbikes. There's a couple little weird things I don't know what they are, but I'm not going to show you now. Anyway, I have a signal here. You won't hear it. Maybe I'll let you hear it. Here we go. So that means it's a supposedly desirable target because of the sound. And we'll see. I'm going to try here first, actually, with the pinpointer, see if it's close to the surface. This is right there. Well, there we go. That's a casing. And I wonder. It doesn't look uh, fired. And I think I see paper in the front. I don't know if this is a blank or what on earth. It's like a paper, bit of paper or wood. That's very strange. So it's unfired. And I can't read the markings on it, but very strange. Unfired and like a paper bullet. from that cartridge probably about 50 yards or so. Let's see if I can get this to oh. anyway this one had a dual tone. We don't feel anything in there, but oh, there you go. Looks like a some sort of button. So a button of some sort, I have no idea really what it is. It's like a little hat is what it looks like. Maybe it's a hat for a toy soldier. <laughs> I'll look around here a little bit more in this area, see what I can find here. Okay, I've got a pretty decent signal right here. Let's see if I can find it with this. be long, I don't know. Pull it or something. Lots of, uh, lots of flint here. This is flint. The dark part is flint. Did I pull it out somehow? It wasn't the flint. Hmm. This wasn't uh, working. Okay, I got a big object here. So I gotta be careful here. Is it wiggle? Is it wiggles? 
probably eat giant shrapnel. Because the little shrapnel has been discriminated out. I thought this could be a, a wedge or a accent too. Wow, that's big. If it's shrapnel, it's huge. No idea what that could be. Jeez. That looks like shrapnel of a huge, <laughs> huge bomb. So, that weighs two kilos at least. <laughs> Should I take it with me? I've got a better one that I left down the hill. And maybe I should take that one home because it's kind of cool. But this one, I have to think about this one. It's a lot of weight to carry. I mean, when you add it all up, it gets pretty heavy. That's definitely looking like the tip of a shell. The big one. Maybe the flat cannon, maybe the one, maybe the 88 millimeter. Not sure, but yeah, it's real shrapnel there. So here I am. Um, I've been wandering back and forth a lot. Staying on top of the ridge here. Wow. It's a button. Looks like there's a bit of silver on there maybe even. Or gold filigree. I'm not sure what color it is. It's anyway, still has the still has the Still has everything on all the hardware on the back. I don't know what they call it, the loop, whatever. And it's really looking like silver. I mean, if it was a completely silver button, I'd be very surprised. But that part is silver colored. I guess you probably only can see it from that far away, maybe. Anyway, that's cool. I have an iron target about two feet away. Maybe I'll check that just in case. That's probably a military button. It's hard to say, really, because the rest is so corroded. But, uh... Yeah, it doesn't look like more is coming off, so... Just that, that one part is either painted silver or silver. Very cool. Maybe a silver button. It's heavy. It's actually quite heavy. I don't know if they ever made pure silver buttons, though. But, awesome. Best find of the day so far. It's worth a beer. Right here, in this kind of open space on top of the ridge.
I've probably been by here three times, but not to this exact spot. So, very, very cool. There's the hole I just kind of dug, which is not even a hole, I just scraped a bit. And right here, it's kind of a squelchy sound, and it's right next to those but that button, so I'll get another iron sound where I try to set the metal detector down. So I'm going to have to check this spot carefully here. Let me see where that was again. I'll check first with the pinpointer, just in case it's on top again. It says so. Okay, there's the mother of all nails. Wow. Check that place again. Well, okay, so we're going to just scoot over a bit. So we'll check here since we are. Okay, we got wire. So wire doesn't make me excited. I found quite a bit of wire today. I'm still in the same spot, maybe five feet away from the buttonhole, and uh, I keep chasing ghost signals. I'm going to have to bring my other, my other detector up here someday. I just found a bullet, and right here are two targets. Let me let you hear that. One, two. I'm sure there's two. So Oh my goodness, it's another shell. So, okay, so that is definitely part of a shell that exploded. Very heavy, big piece of shrapnel. Okay. Is there still another target here, though? Sector says yes. It's just not a very clear signal at all. It's actually saying right here is a Probably another piece of it. It could be deeper, but it's an iron signal and I'm not going to dig it up. So, 
one honking huge heavy piece of shrapnel. That was one heck of a big shell that exploded. I might trade this part out for the shell that I put in my bag earlier because this is easier to carry home and it's a lot more um, curved here. It's easier to tell what it is. The other one is just a big lump of God knows what. So <laughs> this one actually looks like what it's supposed to look like. So maybe I'll take this one home instead. Anyway, I think it's lunchtime. Well, it's my second coin of the day, but this little fella here is uh, aluminum. And it's uh, one Zlotty from the old days. It's not worth anything anymore. So I really don't even mind if I mar it a bit because it's really worthless. But I want to read the dates here. It says 1949, one Zloty. Just 20 years earlier they had really nice coins, and then after the war they had uh, aluminum coins, so... Anyway, I've never found one of those before, so that's my first. So that's cool. Imagine, I think, another coin right here in the hole, because I've got another signal right here. So. Aha, turning it on helps. Right there. Let's get underneath it. Oh. It's a coin spill. And guess what? It's another aluminum coin, so I'm guessing same period. I can't seem to clean this one as well. This one says 20 groshi. underneath the eagle here, which would be nice. Well, I really can't, so. I'm betting it's from the same era, though. Just two aluminum coins laying within a foot of each other. Probably 1949 or similar date. I just found this sheriff uh, badge, and uh, if I lift this up, that disturbed earth just right there is where I found the two aluminum coins. Maybe the kid lost this sheriff badge. Anyway, and lost the coins at the same time. Check this place now. That looks like it. This is a plastic coated copper 
or aluminum wire. I'm running out of room in my uh, garbage sack. <laughs> it's packed. Well, got another coin. This is also 20 groshi from I'm trying to rub it the right way. <coughs> this one's from 1971. 